And just in the last couple hours, a, a temp check on what's been called the world's most important stock, showing a growing demand in the AI boom. We're talking about NVIDIA, the chip-making tech giant that's been a big influence on this growing AI landscape that we've been talking so much about. The company out with its latest earnings report tonight, just after the market's closed. NVIDIA reporting more than $30 billion in revenue, beating estimates and growing by 122%. It's such a big moment that there were even watch parties ahead of the earnings report. I'm not kidding. This is video from one of our CNBC producers of a bar here uh, in New York. The report's such a big deal at the Financial Times today, writing that NVIDIA earnings now rival U.S. jobs report for m impact on markets. And it shows that stocks pulling back and closing in the red today ahead of that earnings report. The tech-heavy Nasdaq index at the closing bell down over 1%. Watching it again now because uh, NVIDIA... NVIDIA disappointed the street. They wanted more. They had stellar growth of the past year or so, unlike anything we've seen in a while. And I'm telling you, expectations are sky high for this company. The company now worth more than $3 trillion, making it the second biggest publicly traded company in the U.S. right behind Apple. So how they got there? Tech companies have been spending a ton of money on NVIDIA's chips and data centers to train and operate their AI systems. Investopedia editor-in-chief Caleb Silver joining me now to break all of this down. Okay, you know, this year the stock has surged, what, 160% alone. Um, but there's still questions, especially after that big wipeout earlier this summer, about whether, you know, investors got over their skis. What's happening right now? Yeah, the stock is down about 6 7% in after-hours trading. The profit growth was incredible. The revenue growth, 122%. The company did $16.6 .6 billion in profit last quarter. And... Wall Street wanted more. Investors wanted so wait, more. How can this not be good enough? This is this is this Wall, is, this is yeah. what I love about Wall Street. <laughs> not good enough. They're not entertained by this at all. But this is the poster child for the AI boom because they make the chips that are the computational workhorses for all the AI stuff we use. ChatGPT, OpenAI. They're making chips for the server centers that hold all this data. So there's so much riding on this company. You mentioned the stock up 160% this year. Last five years, Christine, up 26,000%. Say that one more time. 26,000%. And didn't stutter there. That is a real number. Investors have done very well by holding this. And a lot of people are like, maybe I don't hold it. Maybe I don't care about NVIDIA. You do hold it because it's in the biggest mutual funds and the biggest 401k plans, the biggest index funds out there. Super influential <laughs> stock. So if you put a few hundred dollars in, uh, what, like 10 years ago, you could buy a Lamborghini with it right now. A couple of Lamborghinis <laughs> a couple with of it right Lamborghinis. now. All right, there's an op-ed in MarketWatch <clears throat> today that says NVIDIA is starting to look a lot like the next Apple. When we think about tech companies that have had a major boom, Apple is definitely a model to look to here now. So one of the big differences is that NVIDIA doesn't have consumer-facing products, right? Right. The way that Apple does. But how? Uh, talk to me a little bit about, can we compare them sort of like that? A, a little bit. You can compare more to the hardware companies of the, uh, the late 90s, the Cisco systems. They make the picks and shovels, the actual microchips that go into the devices we use to do everything and to all this AI computing <laughs> power that we're going to need in the future. And the biggest companies in the world buy from NVIDIA, Microsoft. Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Meta, they're all its biggest customers. And the whole thing about this stock is it's all about demand. What does demand look like right. going forward? All these companies spending tens of billions of dollars on AI. Is the demand going to be there? Is it going to pay off in terms of profits for shareholders? And so far, everybody has bought the story. It's been a volatile stock, but people that have been in this stock a while have made a ton of money. Chips and data centers, very techie, techie, geeky. But then there's something that is, you know, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. I mean, that is, you know, stuff like ice cream and railroads, you know, things that everyone can understand that company today topped a trillion dollars in market cap uh, trillion dollars in market amazing. cap he just had a birthday three days ago happy birthday to the oracle of omaha the goat investor each stock of berkshire hathaway a shares worth six hundred ninety six thousand five hundred and five dollars it owns things you can touch taste ride on it owns NetJets. it owns geico the biggest one of the biggest insurers out there and it did reach a trillion dollars the thing about these companies that the bigger they get the bigger they get because that's where the money flows and they just compound their profits Berkshire Hathaway has $277 billion in cash, Christine, and doesn't know where to spend it. He is the greatest investor of all time. And he always says never bet against the United States of America. It just shows you, like, by finding good, even sometimes boring companies that are valued, you know, you can make money. You don't have to be chasing after NVIDIA, you know, four, five years ago when you didn't know what it was. Just boring is better sometimes. Yeah, and if you understand <laughs> it and you, and you like the product, maybe you should buy the stock. All right, Caleb Silver, nice to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.